Hello everyone, Jay here. I uh, hope you're finishing up my custom built APC in the 112 scope. I finally got a chance to go outside and do some painting. The, the snow kind of dried up and it wasn't so windy. Uh, here I've got the inside interior and exterior of the vehicle painted in a, a flat olive drab. I went ahead and went over it with a dark forest green after this. It's still drying there. Um, but I got a chance to get the whole vehicle and, and the paint job turned out pretty pretty even and, and smooth. I was happy with the results. Uh, there's the bottom of the vehicle and some of the other side, the driver's side of the vehicle. Uh, I've got the wheels painted up and taped up. I'll have to take that apart and had to go over it and and, and do some spot um, fix with black, but it wasn't, wasn't too much a big deal. Uh, that's the, uh, the clear coat I'm going to use. Uh, here's the chain gun. It's been painted with a dark forest green on top of the olive drab. And I'm going to be using acrylic paint, a water-based paint. Uh, here's Vallejo paints that I used. It's a gunmetal gray, silver, and I believe it's natural steel. But I'm going to just do a, a quick dry brush on a lot of the areas that would see wear and tear. Uh, just to simulate, you know, weathering and rubbing, things like that. And you want to do all the, the raised areas or the the parts most likely to come in contact with something else uh, just in the everyday use. Um, so here I am just first going over with the, that gunmetal gray and then I'll do another one uh, a lighter smaller uh, weathering with that natural steel and then finally I'll hit a highlight with that just pure silver and that way even though it's just weathering it's gonna have like three levels of uh, paint which wouldn't be really noticeable with the naked eye but it, I think it looks better it's a final end all product a final product and yeah all you do is just take a dab of paint dry it off on a paper towel and then just gently brush aside brush on the, the side of the item that you want to appear weathered and worn it's a real simple process but it adds a lot of uh, a lot of character and depth and, and detail to uh, the finished product. Um, I'm also going to be doing the, the weathering on the inside of a vehicle and all of the little pieces inside as well as the exterior. So this is actually the weathering is going to be a long process because I'm doing real light small brush strokes like this over um, you know, a vehicle that's almost 40 inches in length. Uh, so that's going to take some time. But here are some decals. Decals. Uh, I'm using stickers and water slides, and I'm gonna put some weathering on these two before I uh, put them on the vehicle. But I was just kind of testing them out. And if you look at the top left here, I've got a, some MRE boxes that I'm gonna build to put inside the vehicle. And I think those are gonna turn out pretty good. I've never made a box before, a miniature box, but I've got an idea how to do it, and I think it'll turn out pretty good. The, the stickers turned out pretty good. Uh, here I'm just weathering some of the smaller items. There's the lieutenant's chair. Um, the chain gun's all done. You can see the different levels of, of silver and, and weathering on there. How the green kind of fades into it or fades out. And then you can see some of the smaller items that a utility vehicle would have inside it. Uh, in this case, I'm doing a fireman's axe. I've already, you know, worn down that, that sledgehammer and weathered and painted that, that uh, shovel. I've already put together and glued in the, the brackets and the braces that'll hold these inside the vehicle. Um, so I just need to let this paint dry and then give it a, a couple of top coats and they'll be ready to put inside. And here I'm doing the last bit of the track that the lieutenant's chair is going to slide and rotate on. And since this is an item uh, that would have a lot of come in contact and, and wear and tear, I'm really doing this one. Uh, excessive weather so I want it to look like the the metal has just been scraped against the chair multiple times and all most of the paint's gone it's just a lot of the silver and it's in need of another touch up from the you know local colonial marine painter um, but yeah that's everything uh, just a quick video showing the weathering of the smaller pieces and hopefully I'm gonna have another video showing the final product the finished product uh, here pretty soon but thank you for watching and hope y'all have a good day.